be on basic trending uh, within the Niagara platform on a Woodman control system. Um, we're going to start and make this a very basic overview with subsequent videos that will go into a lot more detail. Uh, but for most cases, uh, this is going to be the simplistic amount of information you need to get the information you're looking for. So let's just start simply on any piece of equipment. Um, on a hot water plant, for example, we'll use that to start with. There's always going to be a tab at the top of the screen, whether you're on a space temp, uh, zone, any kind of equipment, there'll be a history tab. The history tab is always going to show the same pieces of information. Uh, if it's a room, it's going to be space temperature. If it's going to be a hot water plant, it's going to have the hot water supply temp and hot water pressure. Uh, it's going to be the very basic, whatever that system is trying to control, whether it's room temp or static pressure or whatever it is, that's what that trend is going to be, is based around what that plant or what that piece of equipment is attempting to control. So there will always be simple graphs um, on any piece of equipment. We'll look at, a, for example, a space. Um, and the history here will just be a space temperature, and you'll see a space temperature over a period of time. Um, on these, you can select pretty much any period of time you want, depending on how much trending is allowed. Uh, we'll do that in a later video on how much and how you make these trend graphs go back for a longer period of time. Um, the simple controls on these are just click and drag. So if I want to look at this spike here, it's a click and drag. And if I want to get even more detailed, I can get right down uh, to within just a couple of minutes of when this action happened. Um, you can, there's, there's a lot of zoom capability within the system. And then you can always zoom back out uh, further or take it all way all together. So this is, in its most basic terms, this is the, the trending that you'll find on all the pieces of equipment. If you find that you need a little bit more information than what you're seeing there, that's when you're going to come to your history tab, and we're going to come into all the history, uh, history information. The first one is Chart Builder. Um, chart Builder is essentially using the exact same stuff we were looking at on the other screens there of space temperature except that I can add several things against each other. It's just a matter of double clicking, picking my time span, and build. And that will create a graph that you want to see for example maybe you want to trend outside air temperature versus hot water supply temp and chill water supply temp um, and you really want to be able to see what that system's been doing and how they're reacting to that outside air temp. Um, the extension manager um, what this is looking at, and again we'll do this in a little bit more advanced video, um, it's looking at all the history extensions in the system. So every physical point in the system is typically how Woodman does it. There could be more, could be less, but typically every physical point in the system, so for example right here at the top on this fan coil unit 1, space temperature, supply temp, heating valve, and the cooling valve, the only trend this customer has enabled right now is just space temp. And I want you to remember, as you enable more trends, you're using more memory within your JACE. So as you enable more, you're going to lose uh, memory within the JACE. Eventually, to a point, you'll run out of memory. Um, so just keep enabled what you really need. Um, trend for long periods of time, only those ones you're really, really uh, interested in having. Um, from this screen here, you can enable and disable um, and turn on actions. I'm sorry, we'd have to go to the property sheet. But we can go there and we can enable that trend um, so that we could actually, uh, in the future, we'd be able to see what that point is. There'll be nothing for it right now because it hasn't taken a trend yet. Uh, but whenever we go back to try and do more with it, there'll be, there'll be information there. Audit history, uh, which is really what this is, is uh, a history of what's happened in the system. So as... I went in and made that change right there, um, that will all be logged for a total of 500. So right here you can see it took a log that I enabled right here, enabled that fan coil trend and it was done by me. So um, this logs everything that happens for a total of 500 log values. Uh, that can be increased uh, to really whatever you want. Again you're just limited by memory. The log history log history is being used um, for any kind of informational type stuff uh, if there's a programming error in the background or uh, for example this is a common one the EPA the air quality is actually not reported to these systems uh, so it, it continuously gives an error this one just hasn't had the air shut off uh, so the EPA air quality is an error this will have just a running list of 500 records um, of all the errors, things that have happened, anything that's gone wrong, if it lost power, all that kind of information will be logged in here. 
Um, and then the last one is user charts, and this is if a user wants to create a predefined chart um, and they want to call up that same information all the time. So in this case, they want to look at a particular air handler and how some, you know, the cooling and the hot water valve and how all that stuff works together. Uh, so they made a trend for seeing just that with occupancy. Um, so that's a real basic overview on what the trending in the system does. Um, subsequent ones, we're going to go over the trend extensions and how to build these charts and add them into your graphics and how to get a lot more information out of your trends. So stay tuned.